An ignition, formed from Latin ignis, which stands for the fire and electron, or a mercury arc rectifier, is an obsolete tool which is still in use. This is a signal anode ionic tool with a mercury cathode controlled by an arc discharge. The ignition has a simple design. It has two massive electrodes, anode and cathode sunk in liquid mercury and controlled electrode which is also sunk in mercury at a certain distance from the cathode. One or more luminous cathode intervals, or so-called cathode spots, emit electrons which result in the main arc discharge between the anode and cathode at the positive voltage applied to the anode. Cathode spots are caused by an additional arc. The arc appears before the main arc from time to time as current pulses with the amplitude of some dozens of amperes and duration of some milliseconds go through the igniter partially sunk in cathode liquid mercury. By changing the moment of ignition on an additional arc, you can control the moment of the main arc ignition and regulate the average value of the rectifier anode current strength from zero to the maximum value. Metal cased igniters are designed for average current strength values which range from 20 to 700 amperes at anode voltage amplitudes of up to 5 kV and switching power which ranges from 100 to 3600 kV amperes. Glass encapsulated igniters are designed for average current strength values up to 100 amperes at anode voltage amplitudes of up to 5 kV. These devices serve as mercury arc electric values in power rectifiers, electric drives, electric welding equipment, traction and rectifier substations, etc. Recently, small igniters have become widely used in household appliances, in particular electron tube amplifiers due to nice blue lighting and greater currents as compared to rectifying tubes.